present to you my phone. Okay. Now it's going to look a little blocky because it's scaling up. I have a 1440 display, so it's scaling up my phone display to a 1440 display. So if the graphics look a little chunky to you, um, that's why. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. The Cognos Analytics mobile app. Um, actually, I'm going to need to minimize this for a second. So how do you use this? Here you can see it on my screen. And if I, it's asking me to scan. Is it an iPhone 6? It is not an iPhone 6. It is a Pixel 3a. Pixel 3a. I'm a Google guy. Um, okay. So let's go in here. And you'll notice in this menu, you've got the Cognos Analytics for mobile. And here's my phone, it's asking me to scan a QR code. So let's click this and get the QR code. And here we go. Whoop. QR code has been scanned. Um, and we're gonna next through this. I'm gonna full screen this bad boy. So this is connecting over my home Wi-Fi to the mobile app. Um, it's gonna ask me to log in which is okay. Um, I got this stored in my... thingy here. And, um, nope, I don't want that. Where's my view all button? So this is our dolly. I should have just made this something simple, but I think I... So let's search here, desktop. There it is. Log in. All right. I wanted to walk you through what your users will actually have to do to use this. So here we go. The Cognos Analytics mobile application. So here you can see um, on my page, right? This is a board. So everything here is organized into boards, right? And boards are like collections of visualizations that you have access to. Um, if I click on this, uh, you'll see this is board one. Um, I can make additional boards uh, or browse boards if there's more than one board available. All of that stuff is here, okay? Then I've got content. This actually connects to my... So this is, this is my stuff in Cognos. So here's my recent tab in Cognos. Here's the team content tab in Cognos. And I can go through and browse the content available in Cognos here to look at visualizations and stuff like that. Um, the, then there's a notification section. Check this out. These are alerts that have come in. So I set an alert yesterday to run every 15 minutes, and you can see it triggering every 15 minutes to let me know that a particular threshold in the data that I set has been reached. So this does not replace Event Studio but it does give your users a mobile-based way to set data-based alerts that will pop up on their phone and say, hey man, you wanted to know when sales went above a million dollars, it just went above a million dollars. And I'll show you how to configure that in a second. And then the final thing you'll see here um, is the assistant. So this is the exact same, um, this is the exact same AI assistant that you have in Cognos, right? So here you can say, I can talk to it and I can say, um, I'll actually even use Google, show revenue. Okay? And it's gonna do the exact same stuff that the AI assistant does in Cognos. So here's revenue. Uh, it's interesting stuff about revenue. You can look at what influences revenue. Did you know, know revenue, missed planned revenue? Um, by 4%. Well, maybe I want to see revenue with product type. And it's going to build this chart. And once this chart is built, I can take a look at the different chart types. You know, which one do I like? Maybe I want this bubble chart, product size, product type sized by revenue. Okay, that's cool. Now I'll click add pin and it asks me, which board do you want to add it to? So we'll add it to the revenue board. Okay. Now I go back to my boards and I click on here. Here's the revenue board and I can see that pin that I just added to it. 
if I want to get alerted when the revenue changes, you know, uh, when, when one of these values changes, um, like if I were to go to uh, which board, say the board board, right? And I want to, I can, of course, look at one of these visualizations, but let's say I want to set an alert to pop up on my phone when something happens in the data. Okay, I can go ahead and do that with this little microphone icon. Um, and then I'll add a new alert. And we'll call this, this alert name um, alert because we're very creative on this live stream. And, um, of course, it says column undefined because something got hosed up. Okay, maybe if I try that again, will it work? Undefined. Why does it say that? Well, let me show you the alert I already made. Um, should be in there. Yeah, so I have notifications turned on. This is where you would go. So you have to set how often do you want it to pull for data. Um, I've got it set to every 15 minutes. That's the most common one. Um, but you can, you know, do weekly, daily, or hourly, and then set at what time it does that. So... The, the thing to understand about that is every time these alerts, like it, it pulls for data, the, um, the, it issues a query to the, to the Cognos application server. So you need to keep in mind, you know, how many queries are you issuing to the Cognos application server here? Um, notification schedule, manage viewers. Yes, please show me this. There's the alert. So here's the alert scheduling screen. So I created this golf alert. I defined it by revenue. So here it gives you an option of the columns that are um, visible there. And then do you want it greater than, equal to, right? And then a value. And then you can apply filters to it. So do you want just any anytime the total revenue or, you know, filter it by, in this case, we're looking at 2018 and we're looking at um, just golf shops. And then the note is golf shop sales, it says Dales. Um, golf shop Dales are through the roof, right? So when I set that, at that point, I get an alert that pops up on my phone that, um, that says, hey, the condition that you set has been hit here. And so um, you might want to take a look at this. So it is not a replacement for Event Studio, but it is um, a nifty little mobile application. Um, there are a couple other little things that you could show in here, uh, but I will leave it at that, and um, I'll leave it at that for now. So this mobile app, I think, um, is is a really good first start, in my mind, at a mobile app. There, there's a lot of stuff I could see that they can do with this to make it even more useful. I like it a lot as it is today, and I really want IBM to continue working hard on and developing this because this is a really good start. Um, the alerting shows great promise. The assistant is is very nice. The fact that, you know, it, it, within... So one thing, I mean, let's take a step back. People like us, right? We don't use the AI assistant in Cognos. Like, let's, let's just be honest. Um, we don't. We know how to build stuff. And the way it exists in Cognos is good, but it makes so much more sense on a mobile device, right? In a mobile device, interacting with this thing, Asking it questions by talking to it and getting responses is a much a much different. I mean, it just feels at home here, right? Um, so this is really nice, and and it's it's organized really easily. Where like you know you you have these boards, and like if I look at the revenue board, right? It's all these different rev revenue visualizations. I can see them at a glance. I can set my own personal alerts based on the visualization. So what would you do? You would create a board for sales managers. And then all the sales managers would come in here and look at their board and see, you know, their information on it, look at their visualization, set their own alerts for what for what they are looking for. And, and then they their interaction with Cognos could be entirely through this app. So I really think it shows a lot of promise. It really does. One thing you guys are going to note, and, and there's no way around this and no way to sugarcoat it, so I'll just show you here. If I go into sales reports, the thing you don't see in here, all you see here is dashboards, is the new stuff. You don't see the reports. Reports don't, don't show up in here. Um, 
this this particular dashboard has nothing in it. Um, let me, where could I find a dashboard that in which I actually built something? Let's look in the samples, and you you can actually view full dashboards in here, um, or it, it decomposes all the visualizations in the dashboard and shows them to you in a scrolling way. The other thing I like about this is it really was built for a phone. It's not built for a a um, tablet. BI for tablets. It's, I just don't, you know, do tablets really have a place in, in business? Sometimes I don't want to knock them. Like tablets are cool, but getting BI onto a phone is a much bigger challenge and I think much more useful. So um, let's just look at the core um, dashboards just to show you a dashboard. What happens when I view a dashboard in here? You can see it kind of strips out the dashboard formatting and gives me the dashboard, just shows me the visualizations, right? So they've done a good job of converting it to a foreign phone form factor. Now, um, it's taking a while to load. I couldn't tell you, is it always this slow? Is there something I needed to do when I set this up that I didn't do? That's likely, right? I didn't do any performance tuning of this at all. Um, so... Uh, but you can see here it's loading in the visualizations. These these bigger visualizations are taking more time to load in. I'm going to guess that has to do with network stuff and that sort of thing. I don't know for certain, but um, there you go. So you can see how does it load in, right? Um, it, yeah, use a data set. I love data sets, Julian. They are my fave. So, um, so you can see here, what does a dashboard look like? Now, I can't load a report. If I go into the reports folder, no content. Um, are the alerts or auto trigger alerts? So, so Venkat, you have to set a um, you have to set in dashboards in, in the phone how often you want it to pull the data, right? It's it's because it's not running a hundred. It's not running a query like every second. You know, you have to tell it how often you want it to check. The lowest amount you can go down to is every fifteen minutes. And I actually think that's smart because it's running a query. It's sending a query to the Cognos application server. So if you've got 200 people with their phones and they're telling it to send a query every 10 seconds, that's, that's no good. Um, all right. So that is the mobile application and what I wanted to show you of the mobile app. I, again, I think it's, um, I like the mobile app a lot. I, it's very promising, I think, where it can go from here. I really hope IBM uh, continues to invest in it.